welcome to another synth tip today. I'm J3PO, Julian Pollock, and we're going to be talking about Polymod. And this video is going to be especially good for those who are beginners and intermediate users of synthesizers like the Prophet 10. This applies to the Prophet 6 and the OB6 as well, and you can actually achieve these results on it. Also the Prophet Rev 2. Um, but we're going to be talking specifically today about how to utilize the Polymod in three ways. So first, we're going to talk about how to use it in the context of a pad. So first, let's pull up a blank patch. We're going to put on Rev 1 and 2 for fun, more vintage, with the filter slightly open. I'm also going to add some release. We're going to have a little bit of attack in this patch as well. Okay, so that's just like a basic start for a pad. One thing that we could do to make this pad more interesting is to introduce an LFO that would affect the cutoff. And I'll show you. We can map wheel mod to the filter and we can bring in some modulation now with a triangle wave. We can make it even more interesting by using Polymod. We're going to use Oscillator B as the LFO. So we're going to turn it on to Triangle. We're going to put on low frequency. And now what's important is we want to leave keyboard on because what that's going to do is it's going to route the LFO per note, meaning that the lower notes you play are going to cause a slower LFO and the higher notes are going to cause a faster LFO. So let's check that out. We're going to map polymod to the filter, which means we have now engaged polymod, either the filter envelope or oscillator beat. We're going to be using oscillator beat and we're going to bring it in slowly and let's see what that sounds like. Sounds similar, but let's add some more notes. And by adjusting the frequency on oscillator B, now we have control over the overall speed between the notes. Whenever we strike a new note, it's going to have a different speed of the LFO that's affecting the filter, so we get this beautiful fluttering sound. The second polymod example we're going to be checking out is how to use oscillator B to affect the oscillator pitch. So let's pull up a blank patch. And we're going to make a kind of octablip sound where the pitch is going to be undulating by an interval. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to engage polymod. We're going to put it on frequency A. And now instead of using triangle, we're going to use square. And we are going to turn the keyboard off and we are going to use, we're going to use it as a low frequency oscillator. So now what we're going to do is introduce this oscillator B as an LFO into the patch by means of using polymod. What we can do is we can use this polymod uh, dial over here to dial in the interval we want by ear. So now we have an octave, and then we can adjust how fast it's going to move with the frequency of oscillator B. We could also change this to fifths. For 
this third example, we're gonna look at how we can use Polymod to make the famed 808 sound. We're gonna initialize the patch. We're gonna put it on unison because we're making a bass type patch. We're gonna drop that low note. And we're gonna put our oscillator on square. And we're also going to drop the cutoff down. You're noticing I'm leaving it on rev three. That's because I want a more modern-ish sound for this type of patch. So characteristically of the 808, it would have some release. We're actually gonna drop that another octave. Now the essential ingredient that's missing is the pitch dip. And we can create that by using the ADSR of the filter as an envelope generator for some pitch modulation that's gonna give us the mm sound. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna, we're gonna put the attack on zero, decay we're gonna, this is the thing we're gonna be playing with, sustain at zero and release also will be sort of roughly linked to decay so that when we let off the note, it'll have a similar effect. So this is quite easy. All we gotta do is hit frequency A and now with this filter envelope, we're not using oscillator B, we're using filter envelope, we're gonna introduce some pitch dip. Let's see what that sounds like. Bring it down a bit. So that's the basic 808 type patch. Now, we could introduce a little bit of keyboard tracking so that the higher notes have a little bit more of the cutoff lifted. Also characteristic of 808s is to have that glide sound. We're gonna bring a little bit of glide. We're also gonna put on a keyboard priority to last. If you bring the envelope amount in a little bit, it'll also simulate some sort of kick sound, so. It's too much, but let's bring it back. That's how you can make a basic 808 patch on an analog synth. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial about how to use the Polymod in three different ways, and I'll see you next time for another synth tip. All right.